top tip coming up for you. If you're going to book a ferry to the Outer Hebrides, book it a little bit in advance. We can't get the van across until tonight's sailing gets us in there at half ten tonight. We ain't got a clue where we're going. <laughs> yeah, it's pitch, be black, pitch black, New Island, ten thirty tonight. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is exciting. It's about half ten at night. The ferry is just pulling into uh, Harrison Lewis. Harrison Lewis. That Lewis was a Harris, long, long was, uh, journey. Four hours. That was a four-hour mess up, wasn't it? We found somewhere we think we're going to be parking. It looks amazing, yeah. but of course it's pitch black. We don't know where we are. We'll try and find it. Let's see if we've got it. By the time we wake up in the morning, we'll yeah. show you what we've got. But it should be paradise. It yeah, shall show you where we were last night. Right, check this out. That bit is where you'll see some, some vans. So we were just in that little cluster, but we're going to drive around now this way, because by all accounts, there's some awesome beaches this way. You are, Angel? I just did my car. Oh, there's freaking midges everywhere. Do you know what I got? Ah! Expect miracles. That's what I got, expect miracles. Well, it'll be a miracle if we can get rid of all these bleeding midges in it now. There's some midge spray there, there's some midge spray. <laughs> Ready? Spray me, baby. Ugh. swimming and darting about was so cute. I love nature. You are my medicine, man. What are you doing, babe? Quick, we're doing a stealthy water still. <laughs> Oi, get off my land. Right, if this keeps us on the uh, on the wild camp side of life. Plenty of water, it means we can wash and carry on on the road. Yep. I'll tell you what I do love. Oh, he's a good boy. He does look after us. I love you, mate. Some of these wicked wild spots out there have got little signs and they give you a... Um, donation a, code. There's a donation code. Now it's, that I do love. Yeah. That you can just um, go online and give them a donation. Again, it's that irony, so like you don't giving have to use and receiving. The campsites, but at least, yeah, you're giving into to the sort of local community. Yeah, exactly. And paying your way. Good to go for another couple of days. There we go. Lovely jubbly. You're a good boy. Do you not sure you want to put one more in the actual? Nah. Apparently he doesn't need to put any more in. But, are you sure you don't want to put one more in? Well, the trouble is, it's always the balance, isn't it? It's of weight, weight and convenience. How many did you put in? Uh, I put 15 litres in the tank and then spare five to carry. I think you should put another one. All right, then. That, that, I'll get us through, look. We've got a couple of days worth of uh, living again now. He's good, isn't he? Mm. That's actually me who spotted the tap. Well done for spotting the tap. Eyes like a hawk. I have. We're off somewhere really special now. Yeah. We're in for a treat. Yeah, we're going to go to Lewis. And that's all we can say at the moment. Yep. It's a secret, but it's right up Lindsay Street. Yeah. I've made a real boo-boo. and he has got me to drive the car so he can film it on the drone. And he's got this thing on the car that you have to click. It's all the, anyway, it's all this stuff so that no one can steal the car. Well, I have stalled the car and Andy's over the other side of the bridge. 
That's him running back now. God, he's going to be so cross with me. I didn't mean it. Quick, babe. Oh, God. He doesn't look happy. So the van's stuck in the middle of the road because I stalled it. I couldn't ring Andy because he didn't have his phone and I've got no signal. I have run <laughs> a mile. I'm so sorry. Well, that's your fault for making me drive. How many times have I told you? So yeah, well, I just forget. In a panic, I forgot. <laughs> What we got? Local delicacies. Cream buns. And check these out. Coconut sponge squares. Now, you Ooh. know they're going to be good. Look at you. You know they're going to be good, don't you? What, what would you have? What do you want first? Personally, coconut sponge. I'm going to go for go a for cream a bun. bun. Personally. Right. We've realised there's so few people on this island. Yeah. <laughs> hardly seen. Well, we've not, not seen, seen hardly any cars. Anyone. Yeah. Virtually zero cars. A few vans. A couple of vans. And I think the only human we've seen was someone walking his dog. Oh, and the lady that helped us in the shop. Yeah. <laughs> it's our kind of place. Give me. Oh, look at him licking his lips. Mm, God. Is it good? Mm. Right, can I try my one then? Yeah, I hope so. Well, I can't because I've got to hold this. That's bloody there you go. insane. He can actually do something for once. That's so good. He. Right, let's go in. Look at the size of her mouth. <laughs> Lucky you. Mmm. <laughs> That's real good. You want right? to try a bit? I think I'm going to say mine. I'm just going to do the old and I'll have yours. <laughs> try a bit. Do you want some blue? Is it worth a kiss? There you go. Look at them trees. It's like half of them are dead and half of them are alive. So the land of the living dead. <laughs> No ice quitting. Oh, yeah, you can see. Unsuitable still... for coaches. It's all right, we're not a coach. Where are we off to, Andy? We're going up this very, very steep hill. We're going up this very, very steep and hill. And on the left, at the top of this very, very steep hill, is something that's going to be very, very much up your street, Lindsay. Love very it. much up my street. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's only a stone circle. So, whilst her ladyship has her tinkle and gets her boots on, I've had my tinkle. Oh, you had a tinkle? Come on in, Blue. Let's go and have a look to see what these stones are all about. <laughs> well, on an island when there's only like two people live here, <laughs> yeah. seems like everyone and their has dog. decided to bring themselves and their dog and their mates to this Neolithic stone circle at the same time as we have come. Cheers, guys. Tuning in. Yeah. I'm sending love out to all of humanity through my heart. And I'm clearing any trauma from the earth, any fear, any programming, any imprints. And I'm sending love to every sentient being that has seen the truth. Bloody hell, babe. And just rock up and have a look at the place, will you? Huh? <laughs> So far, so good. We're liking this place, eh? Yeah. I'm gonna go and have another look at some more stones. Black House Museum. Of little houses. Uh... Of, of little houses. It used to look like the thatch one we're about to show you. But there's right. quite a few of the derelicts over that way, but we'll go and have a look at the museum. We'll take you on a little adventure with us. How cute is this house? Well, I think this is like the original style. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is the way they used to live. This is the way I would love to live. <laughs> Thanks. These angels, can me and all my mates have somewhere like this, please? With these cute little cottages. It's like the house, it's like the hobbits. Oh wow, look. Look at that old um 
What's that, a spinning wheel? That's the way they keep the thatch down. Is that a spinning wheel? Yeah, it looks like it. It is. That's what Sleeping Beauty pricked her finger on. It's classic roofing. I love the fact that they keep the, uh, the straw roof down with the ropes, the stones, and then the coping is the, the grass. I love it. It's amazing, someone's got a fire on. Oh, this is a museum. Should we go and have a little look? This man has got the real deal, Harris Tweed. This is like an original loom. Move out the way. Right, let's go and have a look at an original one, derelict as it is. What a view that would have had back in the day. What an amazing house, eh? Pretty cool. It's got a killer view. Come on, let's go down the beach. I love it here. So not only have they got fabulous houses, they've got an amazing beach. Look at this. Look at that. Your own little that. private beach. Yes, please. Yes, please. That would do for me. And the waters, oh. again, typically so clear. Yeah. It's a far cry from Clacton, isn't it? Yeah. Shall I see how cold the water is? Go on then. Can you give me the temperature test? Oh, that's fresh. Ah, oh, my feet are wet now. Too fresh to swim in? Is that a jellyfish? I think it was once a jellyfish. Yeah, lots of sheep shit down there, so uh, love to come down and enjoy the beach as well. Yeah. Why not? Why I would. not? I would if I was a sheep. And that fella is mowing the roof line. Now that's something different, isn't it? Don't see that every day. Should go and get coffee? Yeah. Hello. Typical nan dinner. So if we cut across the island and find another one of these amazing beaches, we can then walk off the calories. Yeah. That um, nana's meal that we just had, that when I walked yummy. out of the kitchen, sure as eggs, it was someone's nana that did make it when I looked in there. So, Aww. cheers nan. Yeah, it was really lovely. We think we've arrived at the, the right beach. You can yeah. see them over the horizon, just endless sand and, and amazing water colour. I think it's over that hill, so it's yeah. a case of walking now. Yep, let's go, Joe. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. What? So this is one of those beaches which is definitely best to see when the tide is out. Tide out, sun's out, and we got lucky. Yes. So far, what we're finding in the Outer Hebrides is 
everything is so van friendly and just generally welcoming. Lots of different park ups which are free. There's camping setups as well, which are like honesty ones. They're just a campsite and there's a, an honesty box or there's bank details where you just pay your way as you see fit. There are shower blocks. Look at this. Shower blocks, toilets, pound for a shower. I mean, they really have got this place sorted. Such a great setup. So they've got all those little honesty um, showers and stuff. Look what else they've got. Little honesty things that you can buy. How cool is that? I think that's bloody lovely. Got like, oh, a little unicorn candle. How much is that? Oh, wow. Look, a little angel candle. Eight pound each. Shall I get one? I think I should. That one's really lovely. I've got to get something, haven't I? The question is, what do I get? Well, the angel Eight pounds. Of course you will. Of course right, I will. I'll be in the van. She looks happy. purchased a little cherub angel. Oh, of course you did. Of course I did. It's eight pound, but I left a little tip. Look at her smiling. <laughs> right, let's find another beach. Happy. So check this out for a park up. Five pound honesty box. Look at that. Beautiful. Got to do the honourable thing. Go on then. This is such a good way of dealing with uh, wild camping. Wild camping. Actually giving you spots that you just donate and they have the pleasure of beautiful locations. Yep. And it gets looked after. <laughs> this is beautiful. However, we've woken up this morning and it's not as beautiful as it was yesterday. a little bit overcast but still beautiful <laughs> and not cold it's quite warm yeah it but is there's that drizzle that spittle in the air yeah but it's really mild and not as windy as it was last night we it was really windy last night it was blowing a gale it was we were rocking and rolling weren't we oh so lovely yeah it was a beautiful evening Tell you what we want to do today though, because it's still a bit wet, yeah. is rather than do more beachy outside wet stuff, storm away. Yeah. There's and that church. Oh yeah, another ruin. The oldest medieval church and it's got all the um Why all the land. Basically it's got a lot of history there. It's got a lot of their buried there, I think. All their clan buried all their there. Cl clan. You were saying about it's a very honourable system here. Yeah, very honourable. Right up your street, isn't it? Yeah. That's how life should be. Trusting, giving people the chance instead of thinking everyone's guilty and putting that fear on everyone. And it's just being a good person and doing the right thing. Life's about balance. What goes around comes around. And yeah, they give you little boxes, don't they? And they say, I'll oh, just call this number. And the thing is, like, it clearly works. Well, you'd feel terrible not to give something yeah. for such beauty and such good arrangement. Again, it's integrity, man. And uh, most people are an inherently good people. So... Inherently? Yeah. That's a good word. Yeah, inherently good. Most humans are inherently good. Now, we're so far north and rural that the petrol station is the supermarket, it's the social hub, the post office, the off-license, you name it. It all goes on in there and what a lovely group of people oh and the other thing was i was really hungry i really fancied some breakfast yep i said oh i really fancy a fry up well the next best thing breakfast bun 
Is it a bun? Do they call it a bun up there? Or Bap. Bap. <laughs> Fried egg, sausages, bacon, everything. Well, you're going to be keen for that, Blue. Yeah. And then a healthy sandwich for the missus, but um, mm. what a good little stop. Did you also smell how good it was in that shop as well? Yeah, like when you uh, Indian in. takeaway. They had, yeah, because they had a Thai curry. Oh, Indian and Thai. Because they had, um, yeah, they have different ones on different days, and I looked, and today was a curry Thai thing. That is amazing. Oh, the other thing about being so far north, a lot of people recommend it, because I was, had a problem in Wales, didn't I, with uh, being so rural and remote that I couldn't get the internet and data on my all inclusive plan. A lot of people recommended the uh, the Netgear Nighthawk um, portable Wi-Fi, which I've got, and it's been a treat. It's been working brilliantly up here and all. I haven't even got a separate aerial for it. I just chuck it in the front in the cab. This is working a treat, isn't it? Yeah. So thanks to everyone who recommended Netgear okay. Nighthawk and sticking an EE card in it. Coverage is good. Um, <laughs> the other thing, in preparation for coming so far north, what is the next stop? The next stop would be Iceland, isn't it? We're that far up. Um, yeah. <laughs> is being on our own and having that problem before with our electrics. Uh, I did a little electrics course. Um, bloody amazing it was with unimpressed Jeff. Yeah. So, um, yeah, with Adrian and Pixie up, uh, went up north, up to Hull, and did, um, did his van electrics course, 12 volt electrics. I learned so much. I'll put a little link in the, uh, the blurb down below for that because if you want to know about van electrics, to start with, I was a bit bamboozled by it all, as you know, but um, I reckon if I refer to my notes, I could fix anything now. Do you? <laughs> Touch wood, it's gonna go wrong now, isn't it? But uh, definitely recommend <laughs> that one. I don't know if you can see, but it's bloody windy. <laughs> <laughs> it probably smells of the seaside here. It does smell of the seaside. Right, let's go and check out this church, shall we? Now these are the older yeah. stones in. Maybe they're probably. You won't them even be able to read them, will you? Because they're so nah. old. And then in here. Come on, Blue. Let's go in and have a look. Ah oh, wow, Ooh. look at these. Ooh, wow. It's kind of eerie. Oh, it's a shame we can't see the writing on this one. But these must have been ones that are sort of dug up. This was obviously um, carved by the local tattooist. Cool, what are you doing, mate? You have a little scrape on that, are you, mate? <laughs> little bit of history for you. Oh. Nature's decorated it. That is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely colours. Nature is the best, man. Carpets everything beautifully. I love nature. That's inside the church again. Give you a little bird's eye view from here. Oh, and then come round here and got the ocean. Come to Harris and not go in the Harris Tweed store, can you? Right. Nope. Oh. What are you getting? I was going to get a tweed suit. It's itchy though. Aaron sweater from Aaron. My brain's too big. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's not. <laughs> well, as you can see, <laughs> or not see, or not see, this is how changeable the weather is. So today I am feeling a little bit tired, and the weather is almost like telling us to go and find a park up, get all snugly. Yeah, we've got a nice a dinner to cook, watch a movie, and just have a snuggle. 
the dog. By the sea. By the sea. Even if we can't see the sea. We won't be able to see the sea because as you can see, well mind you it's a little bit clearer here. Um, but sometimes that's what you do. On a day like today we've crammed a lot in already today haven't we? Yeah. Oh we popped into the distillery. Thanks Charlie for the uh, yes. recommendation but your brother weren't there mate. Not short of distilleries around here, cool. are they? I can smell that. It smells mad. Mm. Doesn't it? Yeah, it's really lovely. Welcome. Oh, look at that. Now that is a welcome. Look at that. Oh. Open fire. That's lovely. How beautiful. Oh, wow. How Should warm we just that? stay here for the afternoon? <laughs> Yeah, Charlie, brother went there, but his wife was, but we didn't get to see her. But we did say hello. <laughs> well, thanks for the recommendation, because in fact, yeah. I will say their cafe bit, we yeah. had coffee and cake, more sponge. Another day, another sponge. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to give it a whirl. Vanilla and strawberry. Mm. Oh my God. Good coffee in here and all. I'm skipping the sponge, I'm going for a lemon slice. Mm. Ooh, come here again. <laughs> and that, yeah, I'm going to put my, vanilla. I'm going to put my um, money where my mouth is to say, that was my favourite sponge so far of this entire Scotland trip. There you go. And it was your sponge. Hello, look at that. Wow, hang on. It's clearing, it's clearing. up a little bit. That's the end of another beautiful day. It is. Oh, check this out for dinner, right? Salmon on croup. Yep. Potato slices. Oh, this is going to be good. And this is broccoli okay. and cheese sauce. All this by the seaside. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a good seaside, apart from the fact it's raining. So yeah. if we wake up and it's dry and sunny, then we're laughing. But even if not, it's beautiful. Yeah. We are living our best life. It has been 100% success with the park ups. Oh my god. This whole of the Outer Hebrides. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. This, this is another donation one. There's a little sign just outside the van, gives you a little uh, website to uh, to go on, transfer your little money, and uh, say thank you very much. Thank you very much for allowing us. Thank you very us. much. Cheers, Harris. Cheers, Harris. Cheers, Lewis. Yeah, cheers, Lewis, for earlier. Cheers, Harris, for now. Let's see. Well, I don't know if you can see, but all the contents of our garage currently on the bed. We've had a failure on our heating so basically Andy um, we put the heating on and then it come up with an error code oh. and well we tried to reset it but it didn't work so now Andy's had to get everything out of the garage and try and reset it from there. What a pickle. What's annoying though, it's saying that the error code in here is that there's no gas getting to it. Well, there is gas because we just cooked dinner. Yeah. It's flashing. It's flashing? Which is could that mean, good? that's a good sign so far. Once that flame's flashing, that means that it's cooking. Oh, Which means so. I've mended it. Thank you. Okay, well done. Oh. E517H errors flashed again. Uh. I'm going to try again. These last are one. It hasn't worked basically. So we thought it fixed. And I got all excited, but it come back on again. So he's going to give it one more go. Fingers crossed. What are you trying? Let's try it again. It's flashing. Proper howling a gal out there. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> it's, only, it's like the worst weather, isn't it? The worst conditions. It's yeah. windy, it's rainy, it's. I was going to say it's cold, but it ain't because it's actually quite mild, but it's a little so bit you can't misty see and anything. foggy. Um, so, having saved all the last good stuff, the beach action, the kayak action to today, thinking, oh, we'll do that on the beach today before we have to catch the ferry and get off the island. Well, you could, but it wouldn't be very fun. <laughs> but we're kind of van bound. Plus, we didn't get the heating fixed last night. No. Um, because it was starting to rain, so I had to put everything back in, all the garage that was out, 
I thought I was going to do it this morning, but of course it's raining even more, so I can't lob everything out on the floor. Stop licking my legs, you. So we might have to wait until we are on mainland Scotland again, or Sky, whatever. Wherever the weather improves, we'll get this fixed. Um, and looking at Instagram and other people's pictures, the weather looks all right elsewhere in the country. So we'll start yeah. hacking it back down through Scotland <sighs> and um, back into uh, to England and uh, see what weather we get over the next 24 hours. Yeah. And fix stuff up. Blue, you need a wee, don't you, mate? You coming out? Should we Dad brave this bad weather? Because look at this, right? <laughs> look at where we chose to spend our final night and day. How good of a park up is this? And yeah, it's shite weather. That, oh my God, it's pissing there. That was so white and blue and perfect, like the Caribbean paradise it looked in the photos. <laughs> when I've seen it on Instagram and on YouTube. But, oh, we'll stay there. Of course, we're here. <laughs> it's still beautiful, but the weather conditions are not conducive to uh, hanging outside for too long in that. You know, it's just stopped raining. Stop raining now. <laughs> we're in the queue to get on the boat. It's actually stopped raining now. Now we're, yeah, we're heading back to Sky. Scotland? Sky. 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 Isle of Sky. Sky. Yeah, we're Scotland, in Lua. Forget Sky. where we are. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to drive over the bridge back to Scotland. Yeah, let's go we? over the bridge this time rather than get another boat. Yeah, we got a boat last time. How long will it take to go over the bridge then? Well, how long will it take to drive over a bridge? Yeah. Two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you love me, so that's all you. that matters. Yeah, exactly. And as long as you love me, I don't exactly. care. Exactly. Somebody loves me. <laughs> how lucky am I? Yeah, your mum. <gasps> And the dog. And the you dog. love me, don't you, Blucifer? Yay! Dad. Come on, let's get on this boat. I would show you our view, but it's not that exciting. It's the back of a transit. It is. Anyway. What's funny, having spent a few days now on um, on the island, you get to recognise some of the other campers, yeah. vans and motorhomes because we're all doing the same thing. Yeah, the same you keep places, bumping into everyone. And we're all here at the same time. So Give them the nod. Oh, I know that you one. again. I know that one. Oh, I recognise that one. And I reckon, oh, hello, mate. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite funny, isn't it? It's a bit then, of a social. Bit yeah, of a, um... you walk past people, you're like, hello again. <laughs> you again. Yeah, it's quite cute. Anyway, we're going to go back to Skye, then to Scotland, and then to see Jamie. Yes, yeah, we pop into um, Trek Bands. On because the he's going to have a look at our boiler. Because he's nice like that. Yeah, we love Jamie. Of course, it does mean having the garage out again. He's going to check it out for us because we've, yeah, we can't seem to fix we've managed the to mess error. We've haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, it's not that cold at the moment, yeah, so it's not the end of the world, but we want to get it fixed before it does start to get cold, which won't be long, because we're in the UK. So on our way past and back through Carlisle, we are popped into Trek Vans HQ. Jamie, the creator of our, uh, of our lovely van, is obviously midway through another conversion. He's taking a look at our boiler for us. So hopefully we'll have hot water and heating again in a moment. Heat? Yeah. Right. Oh, What's that's that, actually really nice. <laughs> well done, Jamie. You're oh, a giant. Well I can't reach you. <laughs> You're warm now, aren't you? <laughs> yes. Proper. Oh. Uh, it's always lovely to see Jamie, and not least when he fixes the van and it's warm yeah. and snuggly again. But yeah, those new modular units that um, Jamie's now making, that's such a help. You can just slap that in your van. So could Jess pre, use that for Pre-built up, yeah, that would be great for Jess How as well. How much would they cost? Well, it depends on what electrics you put in. Obviously, you can spec the system to uh, to suit you, but the fact that they're already pre-drilled, pre-everything, um, and ready to slot in a van, they can come with the electrics in as well. Just have a word with Jamie and he'll sort it all out for you. Ah, yeah. oh, blimey, how epic is Scotland? What an amazing place. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate that. And if you could give us a little like and subscribe, that'd be amazing. Thank you. Uh, also, give us a little follow on Instagram, and we shall see you next time. Bye.